Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fall 2023 Etz Hayim New Members, New Foundations class. I trust this is where everyone needs to be. If not, uh, the exit doors are behind you, and I will not be offended. Um, I am John McKee. I am your instructor. And over the next seven to eight weeks, we will be going through the syllabus in just a moment, uh, we will be acclimating you to the Messianic experience here at Etz Chaim and in North Dallas, uh, North Texas. Just to briefly introduce myself, uh, my family has been a part of the uh, Messianic community for uh, 28 years now. Uh, I am an ordained uh, Messianic teacher with the International Alliance of Messianic Congregations and Synagogues. Uh, I've been a member at Etz Hayim for almost 10 years. I've known David and Elizabeth Schiller since the late 1990s, 1996, 1997. Uh, my stepfather, Mark Huey, is an elder here at EC. Uh, my mother, Margaret, is in the uh, back there. She'll be helping to coordinate the class. And I trust all of you have gotten all of the uh, information from the copy of the syllabus. There's a sign up form. Uh, I know some of you all signed up online, but you know we have to have a, a paper record as well. We haven't gone completely electronic here. Uh, and you've gotten a copy of the workbook, uh, The Messianic Walk, okay? You probably have also noticed that we are recording this class. Uh, I have taught the new members class here since 2016, so for about seven years. And if there was any mistake we made in the last class, it's that we didn't record this. So because we now live in the COVID-19 world, we never know what's going to happen. Uh, we have to take advantage of uh, every opportunity to get it taped because some people might not be here for reasons other than their car broke down or uh, some other unforeseen emergency. Let us uh, pray and then we can get into the uh, first class which is the introduction to class. Uh, Heavenly Father, we're always uh, very excited and uh, anticipatory when a new, new members, new foundations class uh, begins. I pray that your presence will be among us in a very uh, unique and special way. Uh, for my brothers and sisters here at Etz Hayim. Uh, each one of us has a unique story. Each one of us has a uh, unique experience as to why we are here, how we got here. And I know that all of us uh, are eager to learn not only what it means to be part of uh, the Messianic movement, be part of Jewish outreach, Jewish evangelism, embracing our faith heritage and Israel scriptures in significant ways, but also how you would have each of us serve uh, in this local uh, community of believers and to make a difference uh, in the world. Uh, be with us uh, this morning as we introduce the subject matter and as we uh, introduce ourselves and get to know one another better. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. All right, so today is a somewhat easier class period than we will have in uh, the next over the next few weeks. But normally, our uh, pattern for each class will be uh, you have particular assignments each week, readings to go through in the uh, Messianic Walk workbook. Uh, you are on your honor to do this yourself uh, because when I took over the uh, New Members New Foundations class, back in 2016, the class was actually uh, 18 to 22 weeks or so, and uh, we were going through uh, this workbook, uh, Messianic Judaism class, which is an excellent resource, but many of the questions were uh, posited along the lines of what does Bible passage X mean? And uh, the moderator of the class was basically every class going through the uh, study questions and all of a sudden people wanted to give a little monologue or a long monologue about this or that. And so when I ended up taking over the class, I said, look, we're not getting to the real important material, which is at the end of the class. So 
my philosophy was what we will do is people will go through the material on their own and then we will come and we will discuss what the material means in terms of our local faith community here. And as a result of that, is that not working? And much of what uh, we would be discussing would be on the ground subjects. I think another aspect of the way the class had been previously taught was people wanted to get into all of the mysteries rather than focus on the big picture issues of what it means to be acclimated to the messianic experience. If you have further questions about you know, this doctrine or that particular subject, we can point you to more specialized uh, studies and teachings. The purpose of our class here is to give you a big picture overview of what it means to participate in the Messianic movement. <clears throat> so that's kind of my philosophy here. You go through the material on your own, and we do have some audio recordings from uh, previous uh, classes, particularly uh, 2021. And we will be discussing what the subject matter means for our congregation here, uh, because as you are probably aware, the Messianic community is spread all over North America, all over the world. There are unique homespun challenges which come out of the DFW area, which actually is one of the major hubs in North America, if you can believe it, for the Messianic movement. Uh, so we do have a semi-formal uh, setup here. Next week, when we go through the Messianic vision, I will give you about a 20 to 30 minute presentation on the subject matter, and then we will open it up for questions. That's generally how it goes. Okay, so each one of you has a class syllabus here. Uh, it's also available on the EC website, EC Dallas. You can download it as a PDF file. Uh, course description and objectives. Uh, this class is designed to acclimate students to the mission, theology, and spirituality of the Messianic movement, as specifically present in the unique calling of Etz Chaim Messianic Jewish Congregation of Plano, Texas, and our sphere of influence in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. This class is open to all in the assembly. We had a gentleman ask me, uh, I'm a member, but can I take the class? Of course you can. Uh, but is specifically required for those seeking formal membership. Uh, the class is open to everyone, but those of you all who are on the path to membership, you have to take it. As is stated of our community of Messiah followers, this is what appears in the weekly bulletin, Etz Chaim is called to be a Messiah-centered, spirit-empowered, disciple-making community that reveals the truth of Yeshua to both Israel and the nations. We are committed to making Yeshua the Lord of our life, faith, and ministry. Our community seeks to be like the first Jerusalem congregation where both Jew and non-Jew function as one new man, equal before God, Acts chapter 2. Etz Chaim is an inclusive uh, Messianic congregation of both Jewish and non-Jewish believers, equal before the God of Israel. That is not always the case in every Messianic congregation you may attend. Uh, Every Messianic congregation, every Messianic group has to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. But Etz Chaim does seek to be an inclusive congregation, especially for those who are genuinely called to the Messianic mission. Now, some of the required and recommended materials, I'm just going to briefly go through some of these. The, the main required material is this workbook. Uh, the Messianic Walk, The End Time Move of God, written by someone named McKee. I don't know who that would be. Um, and if you look on the back, um, that photograph of myself was taken at South Fork. So, uh, and uh, although the scene where Kristen was discovered in the pool, that was done on a soundstage. But uh, anyway, so this, this is a workbook which uh, I released in 2018. And this came as a direct result of the notes which I produced for this class over a two to three year period, uh, or, or two to three, you know, teaching it two to three times. Previously, and 
this is in the recommended materials, we were using a Messianic Judaism <clears throat> class, and this is the teacher book. So uh, one of the challenges with this book, and this is an excellent resource, by the way. It's, got, it's produced by uh, James Appel, Jonathan Burness, and David Levine. And I've had some really good talks with uh, Jim Appel at different um, MJAA functions. But he would, he's the main author of this. He would teach this book in his congregation over 18 months with tests, with quizzes. So, uh, and this is very good. I recommend that you uh, have it in your library. But a lot of the questions are, what does Bible passage XYZ mean? What does this mean? And so the teacher book, uh, people would be using the, the workbook and they'd be like, I don't know what the answer is to this. I said, just get the teacher book. It's got some suggested answers to it. Um, but the main challenge with this book is it's dated to the 1990s. And we are now in what? Almost 2024. We're almost a quarter of the way finished with the 21st century. So, uh, and as anybody knows, over the past uh, 25 to 30 years, in Messianic time, not only have there been a huge amount of developments, that's more like, you know, three billion years in Messianic time. There have been that many changes, there's been that much more that we've had to account for as a faith community. Okay, so the next two recommended books, these are more, uh, give you a good historical approach to the Messianic community. Uh, Born a Jew, Die a Jew by Johanna Chernoff. This congregation is part of the MJAA or Messianic Jewish Alliance of America. Uh, the Chernoff family is, is, is major movers and shakers in the MJAA. So this gives you kind of an overview of uh, the Chernoffs and their influence on the Messianic uh, Jewish movement. And also the Fig Tree Blossoms, the emerging of Messianic Judaism by Paul Lieberman. The Lieberman family also major movers and shakers in the uh, Messianic movement. And I would say some of these resources are a little dated, but that's okay because in order to best understand where we are going, we have to understand where we have been. And I think all of us in our spiritual quest, our theological experiences, you know, we, we, we look at different figures in Jewish history, Christian history, and we glean insight from them, but we also have to understand them for their times. So, but these are things everyone, I think, in, the, in their Messianic experience needs to read at least at one point. Another major uh, resource which is recommended is the uh, Tree of Life version. This is my copy, Messianic Jewish Family Bible. Some of you probably already have a copy of this. Um, this is a, a Bible version, which was, uh, the full Bible was released in 2014, so uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, this is a product of over 15 different Messianic ministries, vetted by a wide team of both Messianic as well as uh, Christian scholars. This is very quickly becoming the main Messianic Bible version out there. Uh, it reads very similarly to uh, a New American Standard. It's that level of literalness. It, it uses you know, Yeshua instead of Jesus, Messiah instead of Christ, uh, and other Hebrew terms, but it's, it doesn't overwhelm you with Hebrew terms. Uh, so this is a version you will need to be familiar with because a lot of people in the Messianic community uh, use it. A few other uh, recommended uh, materials. The Jewish New Testament Commentary by David Stern. Now this is, uh, some of you all may, ha may have seen a different uh, red or a maroon cover. Uh, this was just released in 2023. David Stern passed away over, a little over a year ago. But this is like the, the last updated version. Uh, and I picked this up at the MJA conference and I had a nice discussion with Martha Stern, David Stern's widow. Um, not, there's not a whole lot of changes between this and the previous version, but um, there's seldom a Messianic home or Messianic congregation that does not have a copy of the Jewish New Testament commentary, originally released in 1995. Uh, and of course, there are many other Messianic commentaries out there. I've even written some Messianic commentaries myself. But this is a resource I think everyone uh, probably will need to have a copy of in their home library. 
Along with that, I'm sure some of you all are also familiar with David Stern's Complete Jewish Bible. Uh, this is the Complete Jewish Study Bible, which came out in 2016. Originally, the Jewish New Testament Commentary, 1979. Uh, it was like one of the first major messianic attempts at doing anything with the Holy Scriptures. Uh, one of the main reasons people have veered toward the Tree of Life version is because the Jewish New Testament and then later the Complete Jewish Bible uses a translation philosophy known as dynamic equivalence. Uh, and, it, and so it reads much more you know, like paraphrase rather than a word-for-word -word style. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why you see a Tree of Life. But uh, the Complete Jewish Bible is still a resource which uh, many people use, particularly because it uses a huge am amount of Hebrew terms and Hebrew expressions. So if you're wanting to later study Hebrew, this is a good resource to use to improve your vocabulary. And then finally, the, this is a resource I personally recommend, the Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible, New American Standard. Uh, this right here has been my personal reading Bible for over 23 years. And when I moved back to the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, 10 years ago, one of the things I thought was immediately interesting, uh, we were in the old, old building, and I was sitting like right across from David Schiller from the aisle, and I noticed that we were using the exact same Bible. Like, this is the Bible we were using. And, you know, usually when you talk to somebody, you know, check out, you know, Bible verse X, check out, you know, this text. And I instead I would say, hey, you need to go to page number and uh, surely enough, you know, it's like, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so we were using the exact same Bible. This um, New American Standard tends to be the most widespread evangelical Protestant Bible version in the Messianic community because of its relative literalness. And so if, some, if a term or, or two needs to be changed, it's pretty easy. This edition right here has many words underlined and keyed to Strong's Concordance, and there actually is like a miniature Strong's Concordance in the back. So, not that I'm a huge fan of Strong's Concordance, but this is actually one of the, this Bible right here is actually one of the first tools many people employ when they start very early getting interested in Hebrew issues, Greek issues, they start to build a, a working vocabulary, uh, and then it leads to acquiring other uh, tools. So uh, that's why I recommend this Bible. It, it will lead to further, uh, you know, Bible studies. Was that the Hebrew Greek? Is that the one you're talking about? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible. Yeah, okay. it's it's okay. on it's on the yeah. floor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, that just gives you an overview of the main uh, workbook we're using, and then some uh, other tools I think you will find very useful. Okay, student participation on the syllabus here. Uh, this fall, due to possible ongoing complications, i.e. COVID-19 issues, and that's why we're recording this, because in the COVID-19 world, you need to make sure that everything is uh, recorded. Uh, we have a class schedule incorporating pre-recorded audio video sessions available at ecdallas.org. So if you miss a class, or you want to get a jump start on the class, or God forbid, oh, I forgot to read the material, but I can listen to the material on the drive-in. Uh, you can go to EC Dallas, and, and there's a, a link to previous uh, presentations on, on YouTube. And when uh, we finish our class today, uh, this recording will be posted on EC Dallas, as well as my own website, uh, messianicapologetics.net. And if you want to contact me, all of the contact information is in the Messianic Walk workbook because uh, some people will say, well, I understand you have a website. Where can I find it? And like, well, the contact information is in the workbook. Okay. Uh, regular attendance of the new foundations class is required with no more than two or three excused absences. And you really are encouraged to attend the class because a big part of the class is not just getting the information it's also us interacting with one another and us getting to know you and vice versa and there there'll be a lot of things which organically come from the question and answer time 
No more than two or three excused absences in order for students to receive a complete and be regarded as candidates for formal membership in the congregation. Uh, when we get closer to the end of the class, uh, we will be dealing more with the issue of formal membership. Uh, that is not something that I am involved with. I am simply your driver's ed instructor. I don't give the driver's ed test. Uh, each module of the class will involve readings from the Messianic Walk, the workbook, and group discussion during the Saturday class. And some people have already made special arrangements with me. They, would, they were not going to be here today or next week. Uh, so if you know you're going to miss a class, uh, please let me know in advance. Okay. So that uh, goes through the syllabus, and you look at the different weeks. We have seven modules. Uh, we will not be here on the 28th of October or the 4th of November because of the men's and women's retreat and on the 25th of November for Thanksgiving. Uh, but other than that, uh, we think that's what we're going to be able to do. Of course, it's all subject to change based on our uncertain times. All right, so that pretty much covers what the class is all about. Does anyone have any brief questions? Because then we get to introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ooh. When we do miss a class, I guess we just post <coughs> the video and the recording. Uh, yes, that would be, updated. that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, the recording that we're going to, that we have today, that will probably be online Sunday or Monday. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and if you have any questions about the material, you can just ask me. All right, so uh, the part I know everyone is super excited about, introducing themselves. Um, I know that in, in past years, uh, and you know, all, you know I love you all, but in past years, uh, before I took over, uh, the moderator class let everyone introduce themselves, and it took three weeks for everyone to introduce themselves because they had to give a life story. And as, and as much as I want to hear your life story, uh, we have... This class is limited to 75 minutes, so uh, you can briefly write down these three points. Uh, as you introduce yourself in preferably two minutes or less, uh, please tell us your name, uh, where you are from, and then one thing important about yourself or your spiritual background. Uh, and because I would never ask you to do something that uh, I wouldn't do myself, I will introduce myself first. Um, I am John McKee, or sometimes you'll see me as J.K. McKee. I'm originally from the uh, greater Cincinnati, northern Kentucky area, and I'm so thankful to be living here in North Texas. And uh, one thing about my spiritual background, I'm originally from the uh, Wesleyan tradition. I have a master's degree in biblical studies from Asbury Theological Seminary. My bachelor's degree is from the University of Oklahoma in political science. We don't have any, yes. okay. Yes. Yeah, we don't have any longhorns in this class, you know. And uh, my family has been involved in the Messianic community for uh, 28 years now. We've uh, been in full-time Messianic ministry for 20 years. I've interacted on a personal level with just about every sector of people within the broad Messianic orbit. Uh, so if you want to ask a question about the Hebrew Roots movement or something like that, um, that's okay. You know, we are adults here, and, uh, you know, I, I know, I just assume that a lot of people in Messianic congregations watch that stuff because, let's face it, we, we'd much have, rather have them watch Hebrew Roots stuff than watch porn. So, okay. Uh, but, but, you know, we're adults here. We know that, you know, a lot of things are available online and a lot of things are available and no, one of the important things about me is in Judaism, the overriding philosophy is what? Any question can be asked. Any subject can be discussed. Nothing is off limits. So you've heard the adage, two Jews, three opinions. In historical Protestantism, the overriding philosophy is what? You know, we have the Holy Scriptures right here. 
God gave human beings brains and reason and <laughs> intellect th to sort through the issues of the day. We don't need the Pope to tell us what to believe. Well, the answers we need are in Holy Scripture. And if we investigate the Bible sufficiently enough and we let God's Spirit guide us enough, we will be able to find the answers to the questions we are seeking. So with those two very important ideologies at work, any question can be asked. God gave us brains and reason to sort through the Holy Scriptures. I think that in our class here today, and in our Messianic experience, we'll, we will be able to be best empowered to perform the work of the kingdom. Amen? Amen. All right, so we're going to go this way across the room. And, uh, ma'am, we'll start out with you. All right, so we've... Uh, gone through the class uh, syllabus here. We've discussed the format of uh, what we're trying to achieve with new members, new foundations. We've all introduced ourselves and kind of exposed ourselves, made ourselves vulnerable to each other. Uh, normally our classes will last up until around quarter after 10, 10, 20. Uh, so with that in mind, if you need to, when you, before you come here, save your seats down in the uh, sanctuary, please do so. Uh, before we close, does anyone have any questions or observations? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, none. All right, we've scared you that much. Um, <laughs> All right, so next week uh, we will be discussing the Messianic vision. Uh, so you'll be getting kind of a brief history of uh, the modern Messianic movement and some of the dynamics which you will see in play uh, out there in the world of ideas, but also uh, here at, at Siam and in the uh, North Dallas, North Texas area. All right, well, let's uh, uh, close up uh, with a prayer and... Uh, then we can uh, enter into our service for this morning. Lord, we're uh, so thankful once again that we can uh, begin a, another New Members, New Foundations class. I pray that our time this morning uh, introducing what this is all about, introducing ourselves to one another has been beneficial uh, because this isn't just about uh, Theology isn't just about teaching. It's also about getting to know one another and mutually blessing one another. Uh, each one of my brothers and sisters here comes from a different background. We each have different experiences. Uh, we have each had different circumstances bring us to a knowledge of you and to salvation. Uh, and so I pray that over the next uh, several weeks as we get into this material and as we get to know one another better, uh, we would all be uh, mutually enlightened as to what this messianic experience is all about, factors of Jewish outreach, Jewish evangelism, partaking of one's faith, heritage, and Israel scriptures, and above all, knowing the tasks and assignments you have for each of us uh, here at this congregation and in this uh, geographic area. Uh, we look forward to experiencing your presence uh, this morning in worship uh, and in teaching in the service. In Yeshua's name, amen. amen. <laughs>